The Roses for Peace campaign has six branches this year. Uh, we are in Leeds, uh, Birmingham, Newcastle, Wakefield and Bradford, in addition to London. And altogether we have 15,000 roses that we are going to hand out. We're here today to celebrate the Prophet Muhammad's peace be upon him and his birthday. Um, and in preparation for that we're um, preparing these roses to hand out in Oxford Circus in London tomorrow. We're here today because we're preparing roses for the Love Muhammad event. Um, so basically we've got 6,000 roses which we're dethorning and we're adding these tags onto them. Um, so these tags have um, some quotes from the Prophet, the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi wa alayhi wa sallam. And um, yeah, so these are getting ready and prepared to be given out tomorrow to the public. Um, our aims of the campaign is, are that inshallah in the future the campaign will spread to more cities in the UK and hopefully it will go worldwide and that the name of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, has a more positive name to it rather than what people get always here in the media and uh, what is always portrayed. And there are also many beautiful traits about Prophet Muhammad وسلم, that people do not know, uh, such as his mercy, his kindness. He has beautiful ahadith that we're trying to uh, share through the tags we have, uh, we will stick on the roses. and. Um, the tags will have both a hadith from Prophet Muhammad and quotes from the Bible. I'm here today to celebrate the Prophet's uh, birth by spreading love and unity. And I think that is the message that the Prophet of God came on this earth to give to the people of the world. And as the Prophet of God has mentioned many times, Smiling is charity, so giving roses or smiling to someone is the best, it's the simplest form of charity, but it's also the best. So I believe in spreading, especially with the image of Islam being um, in the media, being, uh, being against Muslims and Islam, to show that they are not loving and caring. But actually, yeah, we're here to uh, represent a peaceful, um, a loving and, and a unified of, uh, sort of commitment. I'm here for the campaign which is giving rose in the name of Prophet Muhammad. Uh, we're going to distribute the flowers in Oxford Street to tell the world, tell the people who is Prophet Muhammad and why we're doing this. To say that Muslim community is a peaceful community. So with roses, it's easier to um, start a conversation because you give a rose and if someone is interested, they will stand and uh, have a conversation with you. I think the ultimate message we're trying to get across is the fact that um, the message of Islam, essentially, I think nowadays we're living in an, er um, an era where, where Islam in itself has become very negative. Uh, in the media, it's portrayed to be something um, you know, associated with terrorists and by doing this we're trying to actually show the opposite, the true version of Islam and what it is and that's why we have all these volunteers here today to help us to prepare the roses, hand them out and essentially get the message across that of what Islam is and hopefully that will trigger some people to look into Islam a bit more deeper. So we're in the um, occasion of the um, anniversary, the birth anniversary of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi wa And it's a good opportunity to let the Western world know who the Prophet is. Um, as I'm sure everyone is aware, there's um, lots and lots of um, negative media, negative uh, things which are said about the Prophet and said about our religion. So it's really important that we're here to 
provide um, that positive image and the positive message and actually the message of what true Islam is in such a holy occasion. Uh, why today? Because it is the birthday of the Prophet of, uh, if, of Islam, uh, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and we're here to sort of, it sort of makes you think that how he, how he spent his life and how he conveyed his message, even when people called him names and uh, threw uh, water on him, he smiled. And that is the most important thing I think that we can spread uh, by showing that we are also people of his ummah and that we are here to spread the love and to smile and give roses. The feedback we receive from people in the public is usually always positive. Uh, people actually, many people thank us for doing this. Many people say this is something that is needed. Um, especially last year uh, when we had the campaign, it was right after an attack that had happened. And so uh, many people were afraid, but many people also thanked us for trying to uh, have a conversation, try to clear the name of Muslims and clear the name, name of Prophet Muhammad Many people are interested. Um, an example from last year is uh, there was this girl that after the Rose event, she found me personally on my social media and she started texting me and asking to meet because she was very interested in hearing more about Prophet Muhammad and about Islam in general. And so we met up and we had hours long conversation um, about Islam and about differences in her beliefs and my beliefs. So the campaigns like these, they are really, they, it's really easy to start a conversation. So the message that we're trying to spread is all about the true image of what Islam is. Like I said, continuously we're bombarded with negative images and negative comments about Islam and about the Holy Prophet on, on a daily basis. If you look in the newspapers, if you listen to the radio, if you look on TV, everything. So what we're doing today and what we aim, the message that we aim to spread is to spread that Islam is a, is a religion of peace and love. And by using roses to do that, um, that's exactly what we're doing. So if someone gives you a rose, then you expect to have, it's a, it's a happy occasion. It's, um, uh, it's an occasion, like I said, of peace and love. And that's the image that we're trying to spread. And actually, if you, we, when we read some of what actually the quotes which are said on this, it says, deal gently with people and be not harsh, cheer them and condemn them not. So actually, that's just a reflection of what the religion is really all about. The main message I think to, uh, to give to non-Muslims in particular is to show that we're, we're human just like they are. We have emotions just like them and we want peace just like they do. And whatever they hear in the media or whether they hear people who do not represent Islam um, talk about Islam the way they do, uh, incorrectly, we're here to show that actually we're people of peace and love and unity just like you are. We tell our volunteers to always be smiling and positive and if anyone from the public has a negative view or a negative uh, or is insulting then we ask our volunteers to not comment back and not, not be negative back. We can either try to be positive back and if that doesn't work then we will just leave it. We, we have given them their, ro our, their rose, we have given them the tag with the quote, and that's all that we want to get out of it.
There's no need in, this is, the main aim of this is not to get into discussions or arguments with people. It's just to share love and share positivity all around. If someone is rude to you when you're going to give them a rose, I think that reflects more on the type of person that they are rather than the type of person that you are. But um, as a reflection of how the Prophet would react, the Prophet, when he was going in the streets, there were times when there were, pe there were people who would treat him so badly, there were times when people would throw rubbish at him, and he wouldn't, he wouldn't retaliate, he wouldn't just you know, do the same thing back at them. You know, fire doesn't, you put fire on fire, it just makes it more fire, it's not, it's not going to calm the situation down. What he would do is that he would actually choose to ignore that behaviour, he would still treat them in a kind manner, even though they had, done in, they had treated him unjustly, they had treated him unfairly. unfairly. And um, I think that's probably the same thing, that if, if that were to happen, if someone was to kind of um, be rude to you when you're giving them a rose, you have to be very calm in that situation and just treat them um, in a happy manner, I would say, even though they've treated you wrongly. So if someone was rude to us, I would just smile back, because that is the way our prophet would deal with people who are rude to him. You know, I can give you a good example like Prophet Muhammad usually had the people who, are, who were against him and you know, he always smiled to those people who were angry towards him or aggressive or doing s bad things to him but he answered it with a smile, he answered it with open arms and that's why those people convert to Islam and they love, that's why people love Islam. Personally, I love the roses. I think it's in a certain way, roses represent uh, love. It's actually quite, it's, it's, it's a good meaning because actually before I even, before I even looked at the rose, I looked at the, the notes in there, you know, and it's, 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 it's a good message. And what I see, the message, I love it. I think is this is the best project so far I come across on my entire life in order to promote or make people aware about the Islam. 
especially those days, you know, is a lot of dark cloud on Islam, you know, is a lot of back propaganda on media, etc. Uh, you know, just if a person's giving you a rose, you know, they're obviously out here trying to be a good person, you know, just make sure other people are happy, and you know, I'm always down for that, you know. I'm really very surprised, you know, I'm kind of in mixed feeling like, in tears or in joys, you know, really, you know, I, I, I love to say, you know, very, very thank you to everybody who have a share on this project. It's good. It's peaceful. There's a lot of bad stuff happening and it's nice to see people do something um, that's uh, free, that's peaceful and that uh, makes everyone smile. And true messages, you know, in Islam always is love. And this is the represent very well, if you ask me. Thank you very much, you know. I mean, in general, I think yeah, it's a religion, as like, just like the other religions, you know, so, yeah. That's, that's my force towards, towards Islam, you know, so. This is the best thing so far you've done in order to promote Islam or the people will have, you know, with this rose, a question in their mind, and it, they might have, a, you know, bad view or different approach in Islam. I think is they will wonder now. Probably it will help them to find out the reality and true message about Islam. I think that both messages are very similar to each other. And knowing that one of them from uh, from Hadith from Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Muhammad peace be upon him, and one from Jesus from the wife of. I mean, I could tell that they're both from the same source, they're both from the same source, and, and we're trying to uh, find common grounds between us. I mean, uh, yeah, we should live together, we should have peace and love among all of us. So it's a great move, it's a very great initiative. I've kind of, yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you for that. I feel very happy uh, being here helping, uh, giving out these roses, letting people know about the Prophet's birthday. Oh, what's this? It's, oh. it's the rose for peace. For peace. The message on the rose um, makes me feel happy, makes everyone else feel happy, and there's a lot of bad stuff happening in the world, and it's good to see um, a poignant, peaceful uh, item being passed around to make everyone feel better. The day so far has been very positive. We've had lots of great responses, people coming up and saying, uh, it's a really good job what you're doing right now. Um, and it's just been a lot of smiles. Uh, it's been cold, as you can see I'm shivering, but it's been a lot of good uh, love and a lot of people who are happily taking the roses. When I see the message, I stop and I just say, oh my God, you know, this is really, really good, you know, and I come back and I just want to know whoever behind this project, who is doing this, you know, these beautiful uh, things on, uh, you know, New Year Eve, you know, that's why I just come back, I try to find out, you know, I think it's one of the best things you've done so far, you know. I'm trying to show them that uh, Islam is peace and it shows uh, like happiness and kindness, not any war or things like that. Well, it's, it's a peaceful religion, honestly. Like, if any, I believe that anyone has the right to express whatever religion they want, and that's great, and people are able to be happy as well. Well, roses for peace, roses to me symbolizes peace and symbolizes love, and that's what I think a lot of people um, should be doing more and giving more of. So, it's a very good, a very good, um, sorry. A very good uh, item to be passing around, yeah. When I was giving out the roses to people, people were very happy taking them and I was letting them know that it's the Prophet's birthday and um, 
really liked people's response and it made me feel really nice. Just in everything you do, you know, just uh, small actions and tokens of just general happiness, trying to make sure that other people are happy and make sure everyone's okay. When I received the rose, um, I was looking around and saying, what? What is this? But I'm glad I got it. When I read what it meant and what it symbolised, I, I, felt, I felt good, I felt happy and it's, it's a nice gesture. When I received the roses, I was curious and I just find out why, um, but I now understand there is a great message behind it. Um, yeah, it's a great initiative. I love it, I love it, it's amazing. <laughs> I'm not being paid for this. <laughs> Even though it's very cold, it's freezing, it was snowing earlier and I'm shivering right now. We're still motivated because of the love of our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the fact that this is a great uh, symbol of love, um, giving out roses and seeing people smile and giving a smile back to them. I'm happy, excited and it's a great job. Thanks so much. Even though I'm cold and I'm freezing, we've still got a lot of energy in the team, we've still got a lot of roses to give out. So Alhamdulillah, we're going to have a long way to go, but Alhamdulillah will be done. This campaign is very important for a lot of people. Um, many of our volunteers actually came from different cities, not just from London. And for, as for myself, I flew in for this from another country. Um, so this shows that, like how big the range of our volunteers um, is.